Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna be going over how to get verified on TikTok. But make sure you guys stick around for the end of the episode because I'm gonna be telling you guys why you should never trust somebody that's verified on TikTok. And quite honestly, you should never trust somebody that's verified on any social media platform. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name's Robert Benjamin, and my mission is simple, to help you guys make more money online and grow a following on social media. The way to make money online and the way to grow a following on social media is constantly changing, so I'm here to keep you up to date. My job is not just to educate, but to also teach. I don't care if I have thousands of followers or millions of followers when you find this. If you leave a comment below, I promise I'll get back to you. So make sure you guys leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another episode. I personally guarantee that this video is gonna teach you so much about getting verified on TikTok that you're gonna know exactly how to do it after this episode. You're also gonna learn why you definitely shouldn't trust people that are verified across any social media platform. So at the end of the day, getting verified across any social media platform relies on two things. One, how relevant you are, and two, who you know. Now there are several ways to be relevant, right? You could have a lot of followers on a platform. You could be super famous, like a movie star or something like that. You could have a PR firm write a bunch of articles about you. There are several ways to be relevant. And since TikTok is the newest platform, a lot of you guys wanna be verified on TikTok. And I want you guys to know that a lot of people that are verified on TikTok, if they don't have a lot of followers, if they have a really small account, odds are that they're verified on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram and got in very early there. So TikTok is basically automatically verifying them. These people also have agents or PR firms that are reaching out to people at TikTok to make sure that they get verified. So if you see somebody with like less than a million followers, or I wouldn't even say a million, like less than 500,000 followers, and they're not super famous or something like that, odds are they have verification on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And odds are, guys, they just bought that verification, which is why you shouldn't trust them. Which is exactly why I wanna highlight to you guys why you shouldn't really care about being verified on social media and why it really doesn't mean anything. What you guys don't realize is that most of the people that are verified aren't a movie star, an actor, or a really well-known person or have any credibility at all. A lot of people that are verified just pay a PR agency to write a ton of articles about them to make it look like they're relevant. They're really not relevant at all. And now they're verified and they're trying to sell you courses or sell you information or sell you consulting. So definitely, definitely, definitely do not trust these people. So basically what happens is these people pay a PR agent or a PR agency, and what they're gonna do is pitch any publication like Inc. Magazine, Entrepreneur Magazine, Forbes Magazine. You can literally pay to get in all of these magazines by reaching out to a PR agency, paying them. They're gonna pitch the magazine, your story, whether it be a company or a personal brand or an actor or an actress, or maybe you're just a bull artist. But nevertheless, they're gonna pitch your story to these people, and then they're gonna write an article about you. It's gonna rank in Google because it's coming from a domain with a lot of authority, and then you're gonna be able to go to Instagram or TikTok and say, hey, how come I'm not verified? I have all these great things written about me. And then what happens is that they're gonna verify you. And like I just said originally, guys, you don't realize that people that are in Forbes magazine, Entrepreneur magazine, all these things, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a great entrepreneur. If they're actually in the magazine, like, all right, that holds some credibility. But if you just have a BS article written about you, like there are tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of articles written about people. And guess what, guys? There aren't hundreds of thousands of people that should really be verified on Instagram or TikTok. And I'm not saying that like you shouldn't trust everybody that has a verification. I'm I'm just saying that you guys need to realize that in a lot of cases, you could BS your way to getting verified by dealing with a PR agency and things like that. So don't just blindly trust somebody because they're verified. So that being said, and now that you guys know that you shouldn't trust everybody that has a verification, the best way to get verified on TikTok is actually build a following and engage with your followers. Unless you have a ton of followers or are really impacting people's lives, then odds are you're not gonna get verified on TikTok. It was a little bit easier on Musical.ly. You were able to like get a popular creator tag and they would basically verify you, but I don't think they do that anymore. So now what you're gonna need to do is actually grow a following and impact people's lives. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that right now. So here are a few tips to building a following, engaging with that following so that you guys can get verified on TikTok. And trust me, it does work with small accounts. Everybody's gotta start somewhere. So tip number one is you need to be posting five to 20 times a day. It needs to be really good content, it needs to be relevant content, and you need to be pumping it out. Like being verified on TikTok is the only thing in the world that matters. And I don't care if you don't have time Time, you're at school, you're at work, this, that, the other thing, because I have a solution for you guys. The best time to post on TikTok is from 6 p.m. till 12 a.m. Why is that? It's because people aren't at school or work during that time. They're on their phone hanging out, just, you know, browsing their phone, browsing TikTok. We've all been there watching TikTok for one to three hours when we have nothing to do. So that's when you guys need to be posting. So now your excuse that you had work or school or whatever the case may be is irrelevant because I want you to post between 6 p.m. and 12 a.m. I have 460,000 followers on TikTok and all of my posts have come 
at that time. Granted, on the weekends, you guys should be posting all day because people are on their phone all day on the weekend. And the weekends are a huge opportunity for you guys to go viral. Most of my videos do go viral on the weekend. In fact, I really only try to post content that's gonna go viral on the weekend because if I go viral on a weekday, it'll only get like two to three million views. If I go viral on the weekend, 10 million views plus easy. So make sure you guys are posting your best content on the weekend and from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. every single day. And one big mistake that I see a lot of small accounts, a lot of small creators making, is you guys just post for a couple days, then stop posting. You guys cannot do that. What you're doing is signaling to the algorithm that you're not consistent, they shouldn't promote your stuff, and that's gonna be the quickest way for you to not get verified. The other thing that you guys need to do is pay close attention to the hashtag strategy that you guys are implementing. I'm about to give you mine right now. And sorry for interrupting the video, guys, but before I give you guys my whole entire hashtag strategy, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you aren't already, you better be subscribed to my channel. Click that button right now, and then let's get into my hashtag strategy. Bam. All right, so this is my simple hashtag strategy. One, you guys need to use hashtag FYP, hashtag for you page, or hashtag TikTok on every single post. Only choose one of them. The second thing that you need to do, use one to two trending hashtags. All you have to do is type in hashtag, the trending ones will show up in red. The third thing is you guys need to find one to two hashtags that are super relevant to the posts that you're about to post about. For example, whenever I post about making money or promoting my YouTube channel, I use hashtag money or hashtag money moves or hashtag YouTube or hashtag my YouTube channel. You guys need to do this to signal to TikTok what kind of content you're putting out there so that they know who they can share with. The reason that this works is so many people use hashtags and look at them and look at what's popular and try to find content ideas and things like that or just if they want to look into a niche or something like that like baseball they'll do hashtag baseball and look at all the baseball related content. So make sure you guys are doing that. Now I know that was a lot so to recap you're going to want to use one of the hashtags hashtag FYP hashtag for you page hashtag TikTok you're going to want to use one to two trending hashtags and one to two relevant hashtags. This is on every single post and make sure guys that you're not making your description too long because then it's gonna cut into your video and I see a lot of small creators do this. Looks like total crap on the actual app so make sure you're not making your description too long on the video. And my final tip for you guys and I think that this is what separates TikTok from Instagram is do adding famous people. You guys don't realize this but to get in a post with a famous person on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter you guys actually had to be with that person in real life. On TikTok you could just do duet somebody and do a reaction to their video or do something complimentary to their video and you're signaling to people that holy this guy's face is right next to Charlie. I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna comment on this. I'm gonna follow this guy. It's the greatest thing ever. Almost all of my viral posts are me with somebody else duetting them or doing something like that. And they have allowed me to gain over 460,000 followers. So make sure you guys are doing that. So there you guys have it. That's exactly how you could get verified on TikTok. The real way to do it without paying a PR agency or having people write articles about you is to actually grow a following and have a meaningful connection with your followers. I just gave you guys the blueprint for how you could do that and blow up on TikTok and get on the For You page. So make sure you guys implement that. And don't think that if you guys do all those steps that I just showed you once, oh, it should work. I'm going to come for Rob's neck because it didn't work. You guys need to do this over several videos, over several days, and I guarantee it's going to work. Guys, really to hammer down my last point, stop putting people that are verified on a pedestal, guys. They're no different than you and I. If you hit somebody in the head that has verification on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, they're going to die the same way that if you hit me in the head or hit you in the head. Everybody deals with the same issues that you deal with, has the same problems that you deal with, doesn't matter whether or not they're verified. So if you're really putting that on a pedestal, guys, I, I would just recommend that you don't do that. It's really not as cool as you guys think. Think about it, at the end of the day, you could pay all this money, put in all this time to get verification. And at the end of the day, people that are verified on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram right now, they're kind of irrelevant because TikTok's the only thing that matters. The same thing is gonna happen at TikTok five to six years from now. So guys, don't stress about it too much. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I really want you guys to engage with this. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Below. I'm gonna get to every single one of them and make sure you guys smash that subscribe button so you never miss another episode.